Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow, and we are back with the adventures of Horai High, Tenkose Scramble. We are here in the ruins, and we're trying to make our way through, figure out what is Principal Ayame doing here? Why did she want to get into this place? She forced her way into the ruins after being told that she was not allowed. So that's where we're at right now. Let's try and figure this out. Okay. So, can I go down here? Looks like I can. Alright. Gold bats, gargoyle, spider. Pretty easy fight. Let's take them out. Level up again. Oh my god. Seems like every battle I'm gaining a level. You feckless adventurer? You in luck. Me guide lost people to exit. You need guide? No thanks. I'm not trying to leave right now. The switch here. Oh. Okay. So that opens a door over that way. Can I go up here? No. Okay. So I feel like this place might be a lot of like maneuvering back and forth to find the way to the exit. This feels like that kind of dungeon. So it's actually pretty interesting. We actually have a dungeon here that is uh, a lot more fleshed out than some of the other ones we've seen. Okay, let's see what we got here. Anything in these boxes? Or, I say boxes, but they're obviously coffins. Uh, we got any vampires in there? Any mummies? No? Okay. Golden bats. I like the money. I'll take it. Just wipe all you guys out. Get out of here. You chumps. There's another level, of course. Oh! I think they just finished up the, uh, survival club, right? You know, animal friend club. That's what that is. Jungle roach, I think, was the top skill from the animal friends. Oh, here we go. Got another switch. Huh. Okay. Anything down here? Barely even noticed that staircase. Another fight. Oh, what? Turtles? Ancient turtle. And raging hooter. I don't want to kill an ancient turtle. How long they've been alive? Raging hooter is also a very funny name for an enemy. You gotta watch out for those raging hooters. An ancient sealed power lies dormant behind the doors. Okay. Behind the doors. What does that mean? Oh, we have another guide. I don't need you. Anything in the jars? This must be the key to a door somewhere. Okay. So I found a stone key and a tool kit in this place. I have to figure out where that stone key goes. Oh, wait a second. There was a door that was locked yesterday, or not yesterday, last time I played, right? I'm pretty sure that that door to the upper left, right? That was locked. Okay, so if I go up and I move over to the other side of the ruins, come down that side, might be able to find something. Get out of here, spiders. Ooh, Hexer. Got a bunch of people finishing, or not finishing, I guess that's the second level of the Ritual Club. We got Blue Talisman. Okay, so let me go down here. Can I do anything on the left here? I haven't checked that. Oh! There's somebody down there! Or something. I'll show you after this fight. I saw it real fast there. 640. Yeah, look at that. Looks like a spaceman or something. Okay, interesting. I would like to check the jars, please. If you would stop throwing gargoyles at me. Get out of here, chumps. 
kooky looking gargoyle. Little blue boy. Little blue punk. Alright, what we got? Nothing? You put two jars over there and there's nothing in the jars? I don't believe you. Alright. Another one. Oh, come on. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Well, I mean, I guess it's not gonna take long to maximize all those uh, jungle clubs I joined. Okay, so this door, right? This was... I used the ruins key. Okay. That's a, that lets me go down. They said a dormant power was hidden behind the door. But there was also a door I opened down here. Okay, I think... I think I understand. This is going to take me... somewhere else. Like, I think this is actually the way forward, if I had to take a guess. And then the other path is probably some secret. So let's try the secret. Dropping down a hole. Oh, did I look at those? Oh, I don't know if I looked at those coffins or not. Got headgear. Inventory's full. Okay. We actually hit the point where I have a full inventory. How about that? So let's use some of these. Uh, boost Intelligence? Yes, let's give it to those. Boost Academics? Crow and Hinako. Have anything else that I can use like that? No? Okay. Probably start throwing away old equipment next. Got headgear. Um, okay, he can use it, so we'll give it to him. I assume that that means Daichi can use it too. Haru probably can't use it, because Haru can't seem to use any helmet. Apparently he doesn't want to mess up his hair. Thinks he's got such good hair. You look like a dork, dude. You need to... You need... You actually do need to put a hat on, man. That would probably make you a little bit cooler. Pro gained a level. There's blue talisman for Adachi. Alright. Cool. Guess we're dropping down again. What is going on here? Hello? This is a very weird spot for me to land. Oh! <laughs> the turtle looks so stressed out right now. It's like, oh my god, what are you guys doing here? Leave me alone! And I'm like, no, I'm gonna hit you with this baseball bat I'm carrying. Make me some turtle soup. Whoa, what? Flying whale? Hey guys! What kind of stuff do you do? Nothing? Looks like nothing. Okay, well that's an easy fight and another level, of course. Next floor? Oh, a switch! Okay, where does this go? Oh, we got more coffins. Nothing in them, though. Oh, hold on. This is where that thing was. What's this piece of junk? It looks like some kind of machine. Hold on a second. Some kind of robot. It's in really bad shape, though. Can you fix it? Ah, I knew those tools would come in handy. We getting a robot? What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? What a crazy looking robot. Beep, beep, beep. Greetings, master. Please, give me your orders. You did it. It's working. Hey, this thing might be pretty helpful. D51 join the party. What? I got a robot now? Okay. What is that? What? The stats are kind of garbage, though. 
he's even weaker than these two. I guess he is lower level though. And he doesn't have any equipment. I can't equip anything on him. Oh, okay. Does he come with any cool skills? No. I'm sorry, what? Why would I ever use the robot? I can probably put him in some clubs though, right? That's why the Chinese medicine club was human only. D51 can't learn Chinese medicine. So I don't know, maybe if I put him in some clubs, he'll turn out to be pretty awesome. But right now, uh, not great. So we're gonna leave him in the reserve ranks. Get him some levels, maybe he'll be a little stronger. But he's also a robot, so I assume that, like, over the course of my playing... Okay, there's nothing up there. Oh, there's a switch over on the right, I just saw it. I assume that I'll find, like, a bunch of parts in different areas, and I'll be able to equip them to him, and he'll become really strong. Like, it feels like that kind of deal. Where you get something weak, and then you get the pieces of it to make it real strong. He'll be my Exodia robot. What's this switch do? Okay, that switch opened that. Interesting. Anything in these vases? Cardboard house. Mm, there's a vase behind some spikes over there. Get out of my face! Oh god! Please leave me alone! This is just my house! My turtle house! It's not a house at all, it's a ruins. Well, that's a very mean way to refer to my home. I think it's quite nice. Glam pickaxe. What is a glam pickaxe? Oh, okay. So it's... yeah. It is a bladed weapon, which means that Daichi can equip it. I bet it's Daichi and Mitsurine can probably equip it. So we'll give the glam pickaxe to Daichi, and we'll give Mitsurine the kitchen knife. A little hand-me-down situation going on. Alright, so we got a new weapon. Ow, that kind of hurts. Okay, I'm going to take that staircase up and see where that goes. Like, does that connect to that other part that I was like, that's where it's going to move forward at. Or that's the way forward, I think is what I said. Because I'd like to confirm that those are connected so that I'm not still thinking about it later. Okay, yes, I do believe this is... Yeah, that's the door that I opened. Okay. So that connected to there, so by going through that, I ended up in the same spot. But I got a robot for it. Because I used the stone key and dropped through and did all that. And we opened up a little shortcut-ish thing? I don't know, it's not really a shortcut. Okay, so now we need to go this way into the left. Can I get up there? No. Okay. So I need to hit another switch to get there. I feel like the bird here is really... He's just... I feel like he's judging me, you know? I look at him and he's just like, what are you doing here? Okay, take out the birdies. There we go, all good. And then we go back this way and down. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a switch behind all those spikes. Okay. That's kind of awkward. Oh, we have another place to heal and save. Okay, so I'm gonna save really fast. There we go. 
save our game. So now we can jump back in here. All right, get out of here. Okay, so what else do we have going on here? Yeah, I feel like the, the Raging Hooter is looking at me like, I know what you did. I'm like, I didn't do anything, man. Leave me alone. Okay, nothing there. Huh. We got a lot of spikes there. The spikes don't really do that much damage. I could just run across them all. But I feel like there's probably something to deal with them, right? There's no way that you have to, like, run across all those spikes. Huh. That's weird. I was not expecting it to do that. I thought that switch would take care of those spikes, and then I'd be able to hit that other switch, and then that would take care of some other door. This place really is kind of like a labyrinth. We're like, trying to figure out which way to go where. I kind of enjoy it, though. Oh! Expert contribution. Is that the, uh... The special club? Yeah, that's my, that's my Chinese medicine club. Wait. Is it? I don't think it is. Contribution. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Awesome! So now I can't get affected by bad status ailments. Which then also makes like half of the clubs useless, right? Because half the clubs have to do with like helping some status ailment. Congrats on making it this far. This is the last entrance. Oh! So this is the end, but I need to open that door. Okay. So I think I need to go... Where do I need to go now? Oh yeah, the door I just opened. So we go back this way, right? And then we get to go... This way. So I'm going back over here. make it up to that one I opened. I feel like the, the gargoyles could, like, be salesmen. Like, they're trying to sell me something pretty hard. Could be trying to sell me crypto, actually. Uh, look at them. They're like, hey, kid, I got a really good deal for ya. You ever heard of gargoyle coin? I'm like, gargoyle coin? No, I've never heard of it. What's this switch do? Well, at least that one's just over in the other side of the room. That's nice. Here we go. Nope. Okay. Anything over here? Hmm. I see. Flying whales. How are these, like... Why are they so small? It's like extremely tiny baby whales attacking me. Three of them. I feel like a flying whale should be the size of the entire screen if it's going to attack me. The labyrinth protects the ruins. Okay, well. I mean, I did call it a labyrinth before, so I guess that makes sense. I get caught in trap. Get stuck. But I make living here sell stuff. Many people buy, but no people bother help out from trap. What? This place has been locked. Who's been buying stuff? Who's coming here? Also, why don't they help you? Very sad, but do good business. You buy? I would like to help you, actually. Can we get you out of the weird trap you're stuck in? Oh, okay. Well, let's buy a couple... Nagi, not wait. Let's buy a couple pitching machines. Napoleon hat? Oh! Okay. Oh, my inventory's full. Right. Okay, hold on. We gotta sell off all the old equipment I'm holding. Go up here, because I'm pretty sure when you sort, it sorts your 
equipment at the top for some reason. Pendant? Okay, so I'll sell the iron fans. Why does it say pendant? Oh. Weird? That was like a weird glitch there. I don't know why it was telling me pendant. Okay, letter opener, softball. This is all the garbage that I've been holding all this time. Odart, yeah, let's get rid of that. Black Hood, sure. Ancient Gators, oh, they're not worth anything. I guess I'll hold on to them then, because maybe they are useful for something. Snow Goggles. And we'll keep some of this other stuff, I don't know. School Uniform, we can sell that. Anything that I've seen in a shop, I'm willing to sell pretty easily. Leather Shoes. Tennis shoes. Alright, that's probably enough for now. I can hit a trunk room later and move some stuff. Okay. Buy the Napoleon hats. I bought the pitching machines. Tarot cards? Okay, it seems like everybody's got a better weapon than the tarot cards. The Naginata might be worse than the pitching machine, but I'll go ahead and buy one, just to check. Mop of Doom, not useful. Iron Dumbbells will be better for Hinako and Miss Adachi, so we'll buy two of those. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and equip some people. Pro. Auto. Oh, okay, yep, that's a pretty decent amount stronger. Daichi, Otto, he'll get the Napoleon hat. Haru, I don't think he actually, oh, okay. Pitching machine, yeah, he could use. Hinako, gets the dumbbells. Adachi will get the pitching machine, dumbbells, okay. And Mitsurin gets something new too. Oh, we actually got a few different things there, okay. Nice. And I still can't equip anything on him. Yeah. And I want to check out this Naginata that I picked up. Okay, so it doesn't even do anything else. It's just slightly worse than the pitching machine. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you're trapped here. I guess you're going to continue being trapped here. Because we're not doing anything about it. And nobody else is doing anything about it. And you're not doing anything about it. Flying whales! Get out of here. Get dunked on, nerds! Alright. Thought she gained a level. Move back over here. There's something through this door. Oh my god! Whoa! That's a lot of violence you're throwing my way. I'm sorry, Ancient Turtle. Most, this most deep part of ruin. Okay. Here's something move on the floor above. Alright, what moved on the floor above? This is the floor above. Oh! I think I saw it. The spikes that I was talking about before aren't there anymore. Get out of here, birdies! Judging me, man. I don't like it. Get out of here. Hinako gained a level. Look how high Daichi's health is now. He's got almost 800. The result of all the big boosts I've given him. HP plus 3 and... I don't know, HP plus 2, HP 20% from the jungle friends. Like, all of it together. Oh! Someone just learned the gold talisman. So that means we finished up the ritual clubs. Is everybody finished with their clubs now? Okay, Crow's finished with his clubs. Daichi still has a little bit for survival. Aru did finish his. Yuniko has finished hers. Sadachi still has some on hers. Mitsurin still has a little bit on his. Okay. 
Well, that's pretty good. Oh my god. Get out of here, birdies. I'm tired of you. Trying to make my way through here, and you guys just keep hassling me. Alright. So that... Oh my god, really? Hey, kid. I've got a timeshare. You wanna, you wanna buy into this timeshare here? I'll sell you one week for $5,000. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad, right? One week for $5,000? You gotta share it with other people, though. For that week, I thought the entire point of a timeshare was that we get it for a specific amount of time. Hey, we healed up and Daichi got pumped. He's ready to kick some A. Because he's got energy. So distressed. I'm very sorry, Ancient Turtles. Okay, so the spikes are gone now. You hear something move on the floor above. Okay. We're going back up again. Do we need to go this way above? Is that what they're talking about? Like I go here and then I go up there? I think that must be it, right? Raging Hooters! These little talons look scary. Not scary enough though. Alrighty. What do we have over this way? Ah! The thing that moved on the floor above was that door. Okay. So yeah, we made it to the end then. Is there anything in these statues? Nope. Okay. This book! It belonged to Hokita, the, ha the founder of the school. Mr. Hokita was here too. What a discovery! Got sayings of Hokita. Yes, that's the guy that they said founded the school, I believe. Alright. Oh, hello, Principal Ayame. Great work, guys! That's a brilliant find. Principal? Why did you force your way into the ruins after they told you you weren't allowed in? Never mind that. Just let me have a look at that book. I don't know about this. You seem very insistent on this book right now. These ruins seem to have all sort of kinds of strange traps. Uh oh. Why is it flashing red? What happened? Oh no! Ah! Oh no, everybody's fallen! Eek! Why is it the center one that goes out last? Just because I'm the one that's standing on it. Oh, Principal Yame's fine, though. This is it! The famous sayings of Hokita. Uh. <gasps> what is going on? What is she up to? Oh? Whose ID card is this? It's even a gold card. Got a gold ID card. Hey! There were a couple places I could get into with that. Nice, okay. Oh, now's not the time for sneakily picking up handy little bonuses. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't have time for the fanfare right now. We gotta get back into the story. Is everyone okay? Yeah! We're fine. Just a little concussion, no worries. This looks like an old mine site. I wonder what they were excavating. Never mind that. We're stuck here now. Ah, come on. I'm sure there's another way out. That's right. Let's search for a way out. And the principal, too. Yeah! Or let's get in a fight immediately. Why not? Okay, more spiders. Is that a lit dynamite on the ground? Over on the left? Whoa, hey, 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 let's put that out! Absolutely do not want that. Okay, you got anything in these boxes? Oh, skates. Tricorn. A tricorn? Like a hat? 
It's worse than my Napoleon hat. The other thing I got was skates? I already had skates. Okay. Can he wear the tricorn? Is it finally a hat he can wear? No. Haru. You need a hat, buddy. The only hat he likes to wear is a fedora. He thinks it makes him look cool. I don't know about that, Haru. Okay, nothing in there, nothing in there. Guess we're keeping on the way. Oh, hello. I see a satchel in there. That's probably got something. Yeah, here's spiders. You're trying to mess with me, You're trying to bite me. I'm not I'm not I'm not here for that. Another level up, of course. Anything here? Nostalgic dress. Composite armor. Nostalgic dress, huh? Is that better than the cat doll? It is not. It is definitely not. Uh, does Miss does Miss Adachi want it? Is it better than the corset? No. Well, I think I made the right choice with the bee. I don't know what the other one would have been, but it seems like the stuff I have has been pretty good. Oh, he can't use the composite armor. Can he? No. Oh, maybe the composite armor is for the robot. Now that I think about it. Like, doesn't that make sense? Aha! It does make sense! I knew it! 50 defense? Okay. So there's gonna be like specific robot equipment I find that's gonna make him really strong. Okay. I'm sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, composite armor? Yeah, that does make sense for a robot. Ooh! Hold on! We are jamming with that song. Whoa, what? Bullet. Bullet Jarus? Bullet Saurus? Okay. I mean, you guys do look like bullets. It's kind of weird that you don't have a lower half to your body. Oh, they are not worth much experience. I kind of thought they would be a little stronger. Because they look threatening. Cardboard house. Cameo? What does a cameo do? Prevents amnesia status. Well, that doesn't matter, because I have the Chinese Medicine Club, and... I am just immune to statuses now. That actually makes a lot of the accessories not useful, and a lot of the clubs less useful. Because there are a number of clubs that just deal with a single status ailment. And a lot of... A lot of the accessories are to prevent different statuses from hitting you. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's make our way over this way. Go down. Okay. Oh, it looks like the mine part wasn't actually that much. Kind of made it out of the mine and cave here. Miss Adachi, look! There's a boat! Right. Did someone else come here before us? Anyway, let's use it to get out of here. Yes. I don't know where it'll take us, but we've got no choice. I mean, we could go back through the ruins. But, I mean, that's not going to help us in terms of getting out of the jungle, I suppose. Okay. Hey, wait a second. This is Horai. Yeah. Hey! Check out that pink building! It's the girl's dorm, right? It's the girl's dorm! I can see the club center. No way! We were on Utsuho all this time? Unbelievable. Yes, that is unbelievable, because we left from the west side of the island, going west, and we ended up south of Utsuho, wrecking into the ocean. How does that work? 
I feel like this was done on purpose, just like the last group. There's some sort of conspiracy going on here. Because five years ago the same thing happened, and Principal Yame was very insistent on getting the sayings of Hokita out of that ruins. In the end, the island crow and friends wash ashore upon was actually Utsuho Island after all. And miraculously, nearly all the students were unharmed, and eventually made it back to the island after dealing with their own little dramas. Their own little dramas being survival. But what was Principal Ayame's unusual behavior all about? The fog of mystery grows ever thicker. <laughs> what, what a photo. Thank you for that. I feel like this isn't even a photo. This is something we drew up later, right? Like, this is too perfect. Field trip plane to Africa crashes into sea three kilometers from Utsuho. Three kilometers away? Oh my god. That's just a little over a mile. Thankfully, all students returned safely, though most of the stranded students had failed to realize they were on Utsuho. They led desperate survival lifestyles in the newly discovered aboriginal villages and near the mysterious ancient ruins, and were later marked by the rescue team. It also seems that some could not withstand the harsh realities of jungle life, ending up clinically insane. In many cases, this was merely proof of what we were all this is many this is merely proof of what we knew already. Anonymous student. I'm telling you the truth! I really did dance with sunflowers. Anyway, what really surprises me is how advanced the jungle classroom is. In other news, the ancient mine discovered in the jungle remains a mystery to experts, who are keen to discover what was originally being mined there. Okay, well there we go, we finished the chapter. Go ahead and save there, and we will continue. So now let's see what's going on in our next chapter here. Items have been pretty expensive lately. Yeah, stuff gets pretty expensive whenever the school festival's near. This year's kind of different, though, and that new rule. Oh yeah? What is it? Horai High students are forbidden to interact with students of the opposite gender, no matter what the reason. Even relatives of any kind will be punished if we're caught walking together. What kind of stupid rule is that supposed to be? Yeah, that's a... That's a crazy rule, especially ahead of a school festival. That's usually where you go hang out with your friends. Uh-oh. We can't hang out with Hinako anymore. Hey, did you see that new rule? Yeah, it's almost as if they like oppressing students by making up stupid rules. And they're still going strong, even with that Rachel gone. So we did kill her. <laughs> uh, they got a she got arrested or whatever, I remember, from the newspaper. Why don't we investigate the, the committee center again? I don't think they'll tell us much after the trouble we caused last time. By the way, there's still something else that's bothering me. I just checked my computer and... It looks like item prices have been rising exponentially since just before the new rule was passed during the holidays. There's even a black market in the sports grounds now. I just know they were up to something while everyone was on holiday. They were working over the summer holiday. They're pretty serious about this. Don't give them any credit for that. You know who's behind this. I knew it. Nice work, Hinako. Well, what should we do? Go to the sports grounds? Oh, place where the pool is, right? Girl, it's easy to find. You just need to follow the track south. You know the way... You know the way pretty well for someone who keeps skipping off sports. Anyway, let's drop by Newtown or Side Street when we have the time. We might find something out. Okay, so we need to go to the pool, and they also want me to go to Newtown and Side Street. We don't have too terribly much longer here. I think we just got a few minutes. So, my main thing I'm going to do here is... Ah! Why do they have to forbid me from talking to girls? Come to think of it, I saw Shin around the committee center a lot during the summer. I know, that third-rate representative must have come up with that new rule because none of the girls like him. But he didn't look very attractive. Seems like we hardly had any summer holiday at all, with the trouble at the dorm and the field trip disaster. I was looking forward to so much, too. 
I know prices always go up around the school festival, but this is ridiculous. Oh, you know what we can do? We can go watch that new video, right? It's probably a new video at the, uh... Okay, that's the same stuff as before. Uh, yeah, there's probably a new video here, right? Nope, still Patrol Squad versus Musketeers. Okay. Well, I do need to do a few things, aside from Utsuho, or going to Newtown and, uh, Side Street. So, one of the things I need to do is we need to go visit the girl's dorm, right? Because I need to check on the statue. You guys, I mean, why are you even trying anymore? Just get out of here. You're too weak. So, go over here to the girl's dorm. I also need to do a bunch of club stuff, but I'll do that after... Oh, I can actually go to the lake now. Let's go there first. I was not able to visit this before. But I guess for some reason bringing the boat back lets me visit this place now. What? Really? It's just the lake? There's nobody here at all? Okay, kind of weird. Is anything up here? Oh. Oh. This is the historic headquarters of the patrol squad. Interesting. Okay. This is where our captain, Isami Kondo, resides. You must be Crow from Hospo. I've heard about you. Bad things, I assume. Captain Kondo seems to be asleep. Okay. Let's make some phone calls, too. Julia, what's up? Guess what? The school trip for our year for our years was a journey across the Gobi Desert. Man, that was so exciting! Woohoo! Oh, you guys got to go to the desert, but we crash landed in a jungle. All right, let's call Isaac. Oh, he is not in. Okay, let's try and call Adachi. Not in. I assume that they're not in my party now, right? Oh no, they are still in my party. Weird. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, Isaac's back in my party too. Huh, okay. So, how do I get Julia back in if I want her? Do I have to like... I wonder if I have to like go talk to her to get her back in. That's very strange. I was not expecting that, but now I have too many people. Wait, D51 is someone I can call? Error, D51 not available. Try again later for help. Consult your telephone's instruction manual. Well, now I kind of want to leave him at the dorm so I can call him for advice. Mitsurin has a number in the jungle? Really? Ayame? That school trip was something! I managed to make it back okay. Were you alright? I was in the cockpit right before the crash. The first thing I knew... The first thing I knew... I came to... I was riding a shark. Wait. The first thing I knew when I came to... I was riding a shark. What fun! Hee <laughs> hee! Uh, okay, Principal Yami. So, it crashed, you rode a shark, and then you were very weird the rest of that time. Yakumo. That school trip was unreal! By the way, I heard that one of the Seven Wonders is in the jungle to the south. Did you find it? I did. It was the money tree. Who else we got here? Rusu and Beatrice. Okay. The mad scientists always show off their year's work at the school festival every year in the form of a giant robot. Then the robot usually ends up going berserk and wrecking everything. They're a real handful, those mad scientists. Really? Okay, well, I would like to become friends with those mad scientists. Because I have a robot now, and he needs to be stronger. So I can use him. Items have gotten seriously expensive this year. Is someone manipulating the prices behind the scenes? It sure seems that way. 
And gee, I wonder who might have control of the prices. Perhaps it's the guy who stole the test questions before. Fraud Masamune? Really? Another good thing about this HQ is that it's so spacious. Otherwise, this place is falling apart. No pity for skiving students. Okay. What do we have up here? More toilets. You know there's gonna be more toilets. Where the hell did Yashichi go? Who's Yashichi? Shinsengumi. They were the police in the Meiji era? I don't remember. Samurai police, basically. Some people criticize us, calling us a bunch of weird samurai wannabe freaks. They're right. <laughs> this guy's like, Well, you were out partying. I studied the blade. And the blade is my only friend in this world. Because the blade brings me justice. Yashichi. I'm Yashichi of the patrol squad. Hi, Yashichi. You have a portrait. Can you join my party? I think maybe. Although there are some people that have portraits that I think won't join my party. Like, I don't think Principal Ayame is going to join my party. But maybe something will end up happening with her. More toilets. This is very realistic. Every floor has a toilet. Okay, well that was kind of an interesting little diversion. We gotta go to the girls' dorm, and I'm gonna go check out the statue. So, I will cut back in when I make it up to the statue, because obviously we're gonna have to climb all the way back up there. So, be right back. See, never mind. Looks like we're over on time, so we're just gonna stop here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Got a lot to do next episode.